adding a final flourish. Otago Polytechnic's culinary arts students are busily preparing for their end of year showcase. It's a chance for them to demonstrate all they've learnt during their three years of study. And they're embracing several themes to inspire their edible creations. There's four different sections. There's four, food as art, food as culture, food as wellness and food as the future. So we've all been put into those different groups and had to do, you know, develop a dish that reflects on that. So we've got art installations and we've got people doing fish and chips and everything like that. So Kiwiana culture and yeah, it's, been, it's really cool. The gastronomic events designed to be casual, allowing the 120 odd guests to roam around different interactive stalls. Students were assessed on their final work last week ahead of the public showcase. It's made for a busy end to the semester with plenty of scrambling to get everything ready. Everyone has to develop a food item themselves and then we've got all the stalls and everything that needs to be done and the food costings and the ordering and going out and buying things for the event as well, so there's heaps that goes into it. Cooking is just one aspect of the experience with several students tackling other skills like product design. Now they're nearing the end of their course, they're feeling confident in their abilities, developed in class. It covers everything, it's the logistics. Um, I'm going to teaching next year so there's heaps of things that can, it can lead into and it just prepares us with an understanding for what to expect out there. Guests will be treated to a range of taste teasers from drinks rimmed with flower petals to the finest French pastries. But it's not all delicate morsels on offer with a few tracks up students' sleeves. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.